This is the MS Norana, the only way to drive a car from mainland Europe to Iceland and back. In this video we will give an overview of the ship, route and services on board. MS Norana sails all year round between Iceland, the Faroe Islands and Denmark and is the only passenger ship that sails year round in the North Atlantic. Norana is a vital lifeline for Iceland and the Faroes as, as well as transporting passengers, she contributes to a lot of cargo shipments between the islands and the mainland. She is often referred to as a ferry, but it's actually a cruise ferry, a sort of hybrid between a cruise ship and a ferry. She was built in Germany in 2002, but was recently refurbished in 2021. She stops in Seyðisfjörður in eastern Iceland, Torsam, the capital of the Faroe Islands, and Hirtsals in northern uh, Jutland Peninsula in Denmark. Here are some specs about the ship. She holds a capacity of 1500 passengers and 800 cars, as well as staff of 118. She is the only passenger ship that brings cars and other motor vehicles to and from Iceland, and the lowest decks of the ship are packed tight with cars every trip with mere centimeters between each car. Due to this, loading and unloading the ship takes some time, but don't too nervous about driving aboard the ship as the crew will help guide your car into the exact right spot. Once on board, you'll find the reception on deck 5. There you'll be greeted by the friendly staff who will help you with any questions. At the reception you can also buy necessities like seasickness medication, over-the-counter pain relievers and feminine hygiene products. There you can also book slots for the onboard seawater hot tubs, or buy tickets for the movie theater, and purchase internet packages. The Wi-Fi on board is good for general internet use and social media, but due to thick fire safety insulation around the cabins, it can be a bit hit or miss while in there. If you want to do something more strenuous like watch YouTube, you're probably better off doing so in one of the common areas. Just be careful to bring headphones so you don't bother the other passengers, especially if you're watching this video. Norana is a ferry ship by the Faroe shipping line Smirline. There's no doubt about it, you are on a Faroe ship. She's done throughout with Faroe themed decoration and modern Nordic design. The hallways are decorated with old photos from the Faroe Islands and Norana's Portokol in Iceland and Denmark, showing how these places looked in the early 20th century, often accompanied with text giving historical background for each port. Faroe stamps are a prominent motif in the design, most notably on signs in the hallways and as decorations in the observation lounge Laterna Magica. Everything is completely Faroese. The cabin doors are decorated with Faroese birds and fish, and public bathroom doors are decorated with drawn images of men and women in Faroese national costumes. The cuisine on board is very Faroese and Nordic, though more international dishes like pizza and hamburgers are also available. All announcements on board are made in Faroese, English and German in that order. Presumably Danish and Icelandic is escaped as all Danes and Icelanders know English and most Icelanders can understand Faroese if they pay attention. Norana has a wide selection of cabins, everything from shared inside cabins to luxury cabin suites. The cheapest options are gender specific inside hostel style cabins with 6 bunk beds for 90 euros per person or 281 euros if you want to secure the whole cabin. The most common cabins are four person inside cabins with bunk beds for 324 euros for the whole cabin. The most luxurious suite is the Norana suite at 1014 euros. But you probably won't be spending too much time in your cabin anyway as there's a lot to see, do, eat and drink on board. Sjóbúðin, located on deck 5, is the onboard duty-free shop. Sjóbúðin literally means the sea shop and they offer a wide selection of memorabilia, clothes, makeup and perfume, as well as food items, drinks and alcohol. But keep in mind that each of the three countries has different rules regarding the importation of alcohol, with Denmark being the most lenient and Iceland the strictest, with the Far East rules being somewhere in the middle. There are of course signs in the store explaining the details of what you can bring into each country and in what amounts. Nora has three restaurants and two cafes slash bars. All food on board costs extra, but you are able to bring your own food 
but consumption of outside food is prohibited in public areas. Noatun is a budget-friendly cafeteria. They offer a full continental buffet breakfast as well as a buffet for lunch and dinner. They also sell fast food like pizza and hamburgers. This is a good place for grabbing a quick bite or soda and a nice place for families to hang out as there is a play area for children right by the entrance. The play area was so popular through the entire trip that we couldn't film it for obvious reasons. Skansagarður is another buffet restaurant. They offer a full continental breakfast and a fantastic dinner buffet with a lot of options. At dinner, you can get an offer with unlimited drinks as well. It's possible to upgrade from a dinner in Noatun to Skansagarður and we really recommend the dinner buffet at Skansagarður over Noatun as the variety is simply much greater, making the upgrade well worth the price. Keep in mind that if you want dinner there, you must book in advance as it's very popular and booking in advance is also cheaper. If you want some fine dining on the high seas, Munkastova is an award-winning gourmet restaurant. They offer lunch and dinner, and you can enjoy fantastic food in a beautiful environment with a friendly and knowledgeable staff. We really recommend both the lunch offer with traditional Danish open sandwiches and Faroe schnapps, as well as the chef's choice three-course dinner. But if you just want to relax with a good book and have a drink and listen to live music, Unterhuset is the place to go. It includes a small library with reading desks, and most of the books are in German and Danish, but you can also find some books in Faroese and Icelandic. The library includes everything from Nordic noir crime fiction to literary classics and romance novels. And there is also a surprisingly large collection of books about horses. Here you can get pastries and donuts and great grilled sandwiches, coffee and a good selection of great teas and other drinks. This is a cozy place to sit and relax and look at the ocean go by. Unterhuse is also a venue for games like bingo and informative lectures about the islands. At night, Unterhuse changes from a cafe to a bar with frequent live music. La Terna Magica is a new addition to the ship and was built in 2021. It's an observation lounge slash bar at deck 10 with fantastic panoramic views. Here you can get wine, beer and cocktails and bar snacks. This is an optimal spot to relax and pass time. Many people spend time here playing cards or board games. La Terna Magica is a very popular place and it can be hard to get a seat, but it's worth the wait. If you ever wanted to watch a film on the high seas, Norana has you covered with the ship cinema. The movie theater is small and seats only 25 guests. It shows a good variation of recent movies. Showings start around noon and go well into the evening. A movie lover could spend almost two whole days just in the movie theater watching a new film each time. On deck one, you will find the swimming pool, which is free of charge. It's a warm indoor pool and a good spot to splash around. And you can really feel the waves outside while in the swimming pool. The changing rooms have lockable closets and showers, both of which are free of charge. But keep in mind that guests are required to wash thoroughly in the showers before entering the pool and have to wear swimwear in the pool. The whole area is clean and fresh but can easily turn into a wave pool in rougher seas. Just across the pool is the ship gym. It's small and equipped with treadmills and other basic gym equipment. Outside on deck 7 there are three bookable seawater hot tubs that are heated with excess heat from the ship's engine. The hot tubs are reasonably priced and you can book it for an hour at a time. For an extra free you can rent a bathrobe and slippers in case you don't feel like walking through the ship from your cabin to the hot tub in your swimsuit. It's excellent to sit and relax and watch the view pass by and the seawater is probably good for your skin, but a shower is recommended afterwards. For kids and teens there's a dedicated gaming room with PlayStation 4 games. And there's also a program for kids with scavenger hunts around the ships and bingo in Intrusive. The bingo is quite special and takes some time as it's simultaneously in four languages. Faroese, Danish, English and German. There's also a small football field for kids outside on deck 9. Covered in a net on all sides to keep the balls from landing in the ocean. On deck 7 you can find a gambling room with slot machines, so if you're into gambling, it's easy to pass time in there. Norana might not be a very large ship, but she definitely offers a lot to passengers. She's much more of a cruise ship than a traditional ferry. We highly recommend everybody check this Nordic gem out, whether it be a short cruise in the North Atlantic or as a luxury transportation. 